Good evening. Welcome yeah. to Bars and Bells. Hello, my name is Ian. And I'm Lauren. And tonight is Strength and Swings. And I'm very excited for our follow along workout here. We'll be warming up, getting through some arm bars, which will feel lovely, and planks. And then we're going to get up and do some stop things. I love the stops. The stops make it tough, the stops make it distinct. <clears throat> Explore the setup. And then we're going to do some pass. swings, and then we're going to do and some presses. Do it's going to be so good. Great. To start, we're going to lie on our stomach. Okay. I am not, because it's going to sound bad if I do. You lie down. We call this alligator or crocodile breathing, so putting your hands underneath your head, pulling your shoulders down, tucking your chin, whatever's comfortable here. I want you to think as you're breathing here about breathing into and out of your belly. So mouth is shut, you're breathing in and out of your nose. If I came up behind you and sat beside you and put my hand on your low back, I would feel your low back moving up and down, not your upper back. Just for a couple more times, breathe in and out through your belly, trying to fill all the edges, including the outside lateral parts of your belly. We're going to start taking going into our box breath. So you're going to take your inhale now for five seconds. Inhale five. Hold for five. Exhale for five. Hold for five. One more time. Inhale five. Hold five. Exhale five. And last hold five. Three, two, one. Come back to the world. Do I have to? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do a little push up up. Be nice on your first push up. Be nice and easy. Push up, up, Modify find your hands it. underneath your shoulders for a second. Before we even go into that down dog I've written, let's just grip the floor with our hands. Before I put all my weight into my hands, I like to spread my fingers out, rotate my elbow pits forward, shift my weight around a little bit. And then once things feel good, I'll tuck my toes and we'll lift up to that down dog first or that peak. Starting just by trying to push heels down, pushing chest back, breathing, tilting tail to the ceiling. Squeeze your butt, come through your plank position, drop your hips, extend through, making sure those glutes are squeezed to support our low back. Pull your shoulders down, trying to lift up, tuck your toes, I lift your hips up to the ceiling with your core. Push your heels towards the floor. Let's do that again. Come back through. Through your plank, core tight. Hips drop, shoulders down, chest lifts. That's nice. I do like to add a bit of a rotation there. And the bum squeeze for and sure. And the bum squeeze. One more down dog if you want. While you're back here, try to push those heels down. While your heels are down, your knees are straight. Could you lift your toes off the floor? Mm. Can you, Ian? Um, my big, my big toes stay down. All your toes lift. My pinky tripod lifts. Spread them, Ugh. and then come through to your knees. <laughs> your knees. Get your knees on. Get your knees on. We'll get up to our hip flexor lunge first. <sighs> Bringing one leg up in front of you. Bowl of punch is your pelvis. Make your punch nice and level, tucking hips under, squeezing that glute. Let's take that punch bowl and push it across the table. Sliding the hips forward and back, but keeping it level the whole time and square forward. One more little slide, re-tuck that back hip. Come back to neutral, walk that foot out about 45, maybe 90, depends on you. Knee tracks that toe there, hips are still level. We now slide the punch on that diagonal line and shifting back. So 
So these hip bones are still forward, but I'm tracking and sliding over this leg. Last one, I'm also pushing out from the glute that leg. Back to center. Tiptoe that heel back through. Pull it underneath. Pull that other leg up. Reset punch bowl. Tuck forward back. Pull side to side. Keep it from sloshing. And then slide that punch bowl across the table. Keep squeezing that back glute as you do this. Pull into your straw. Yeah, pull. Pull in the That's center. That's why I like having that back toe tuck so I can kind of pull between. Heel toe opens up. Tracking, prying open. Hips on straight, but to slide. You also get a nice dorsiflexion ankle stretch here, right? Decreasing this ankle, getting a little ankle mobility. Try not to dump, stay tall. I got a little sloppy there. Back to center, foot walks forward, pulls underneath you, stay in your kneel, either tall or low. Arms out to the side. To start, first take one arm and gentle internal rotation, so like you're emptying that can. And then rotate it up, empty the other can. Right now, just arms moving in their sockets. That means wrists are going to move, but that also means that upper part of the arm is going to rotate a little bit. Now, start moving that a bit more so that the shoulder blade starts coming around and you're doing more internal rotation, that blade coming around. Add a little bit of some reaches here and keep that rotation. Sliding and rotating. Two, one. Come back to center. Bring your arms in. Take one hand gently behind your head, no touching your head. One hand gently up your back, no touching your back. Tuck, ribs, hips. Start extending at the elbows so your arms go straight. Pulling through center or through that T position, rotation will happen. Other hand will come up behind you, other arm behind your head. Stay up tall, connect ribs and hips. Switch again, start reaching long. Arms pass through your T, rotate behind you. Three, two, one last time, extend. I hope my wrists look as good as Lauren's do behind the back. No she bending those really wrists. Gorgeous straight, <coughs> excuse me. Extend <coughs> and back to center. Very nice. We're gonna get to all fours and do our hip circles. So find the four. <coughs> Hands on the floor. Sorry, I was just thinking about pulling that light in a bit. Yeah. Oh, Ian's going to modify by bringing the floor up. We're going to first kick the ceiling, bending one knee, lightly reaching up to kick to the ceiling. Make sure you're not arching your low back. Hips stay square to the floor, tucking ribs and hips. Trying to kick that ceiling for three, feel your glute two. Now, knee's going to start to, well, hips going to rotate. Leg's going to rotate in the socket. Knee's going to start coming out to the side. Don't rotate with that whole body. You could hold something on your back right now. Knee is going to come around towards your elbow and then pull all the way underneath you and reset to where you started. Repeat other direction. Bend knee. Pull it towards the elbow, but keep your tailbone long. Lift it out towards the side. Rotate in its socket. Back around to where you got it. Ribs to hips. Kick and pull underneath. Whew. Switch. Same thing. Other side. First, bend knee. Kick ceiling. No arching low back. Pause. Square up to the floor. Start rotation in hip socket. Knee starts coming around towards the elbow comes underneath you, pulls back to where you started. Repeat, knee towards the elbow, lift up to the side, rotate it in its socket all the way around, square up, glute, and then pull underneath. Whew. That was both ways, right? That was it. Great. Whew.
Good. Arm bars to warm up and some prying goblet and planks. A lightish bell. Cuddle, roll, press, roll over. So get your light bell out. Remember to cuddle first. Cuddle. Cuddle. Cuddle your bell. Two hands roll up to your back. Press. Other arm comes overhead. Use that hip extension. Get ups to follow. Push into the floor. Roll into your side. Shoulder stacked, hip stack. Knee comes over, foot hooks. Pull that shoulder into its lap. Stabilize without looking at your bell if you can. Unhook the foot. Think about rolling towards your stomach. Breathing. Shoulders stay stacked. Wrist stays nice and strong. Come back. So hips come on top of each other. Looking at your bell, foot finds the floor. Two hands, bell pulls down. Cuddle. Mm. Same thing, other side. My lats like that. Your lats like Oof. that? Like rubbing little side, floor. Little foam roll massage style. Cuddle. Cuddle. Roll press. Yep. Other arm overhead, use that hip extension. Thought, woo, sorry. Lie on my back. Hooked. When you feel ready, stand and try. The bottom side. Great. Hip finds the floor. Two hands. Bell pulls down. Cuddle. Let's cuddle. Oh, sorry, sorry. Cuddle. Very important. Push over. Push over. Do a push up to your plank position from your hands. From that push up position, up hips, brace abs. Up is one unit. Maybe you have to adjust your hands under your shoulders a little bit. Your feet might step a little wider in your swing width apart. Pull the floor together underneath you. Squeeze your glutes. Brace your abs. You're at the top of your swing. Hold for five more seconds really tight. Four, three, two, don't go far. Just put your knees down for a second. We're going to do that one more time. We are doing some single arm swings today. If you're going to join me with that, let's try to change this to a single arm plank or a single leg plank, a three-point plank. Tuck your toes, lift up. Squeeze your glutes, brace your core. Think about lifting an arm or a leg without twisting. Not both, one or the other. Three, two, back to center. Switch, keep that tension high even though you're on one arm. Three, two, back to center, double. Hold, four, three, two. Start walking your head back towards your feet. So you end up in your low squat here. Low squat, hang out. Chest is lifted, prying out on a knee hip, a knee hip, it feels great. Let's stand up, up, grab our bell, couple squats with a light load. So a hinge, a pull catch, a come on, pull yourself down, stay down here for a couple seconds, pry open, back to center. Pry open, back to center, Hup. same thing, come on down, we won't hang out for quite as long, three, two, Hup. about three Hup. more at your own pace, yeah. doing whatever feels good, in and a little bicep curl, getting a more rhythmic pace, last one, Hup. through, bell goes down. Well, that felt nice. Mm -hmm. Getting Sorry. warm. Yeah. I feel ya. We're going to get into our get-ups now. So, grab a bell. doesn't have to be heavy. We're going to do one get-up each side, our right or left, full get-up. And then we're going to come back and do some stop swings. Nice. Lauren mentioned we have some pressing later today. Mm -hmm. If you're planning on pressing heavy later, be my recommendation that you do moderate reps on your get up. Work yourself nice hard uh, reps for your swings coming up. Light on the get up if you're gonna press heavy later. Mm -hmm. And that's the camp I'm in here. Right. All right, we have our bell. We'll do this all together. We'll come down. 
Come on down. We're down. To get up, back up, Excellent. and down. One side first. Ready? Yep. Three, two, pick a side. Full get up, up and down on that side. Can always be body weight. Or with a shoe or any light load. Every step is separate. Two hands, come down. Take a couple seconds, don't rush out. We'll take 10 seconds or so, make sure everyone's on the same page. It'd be great if you were slower than us, and maybe not great if you're faster. That's true. Three, two, get up other side. Take your time finishing that up. We'll start with you. And up anyhow you want. Yeah, no rules. Nice. We're going to get into our stop swings here. So remember, a stop swing is one full swing. Bells goes through and stops. Could you show that again, Ian? For sure. I just need to remove my necklace because things get very tangled For sure. Here. So we were reading this article bling. this week on the other hand placement for our swing. So if in our swing, one of our arms comes out front, packed in on the shoulder, locked in nice and tall, what to do with this other arm? Touching the bell is appropriate. Strong like a fist is appropriate. It works with the rest of the body, whatever it does. Great. One full swing, bell goes down, stops. Perfect. One full swing. Let's try to do five on each side. Pack shoulder, inhale, pull. One, through. Set. One more, hopefully-ish. Pause for a second before switching sides. Whew. I know that cleans are to come, so I'm thinking both hips come through evenly. Ready? Core brace. Core brace. Same thing, other side. Go. Five. Give me my shoulder pack too. Whew. Oh my goodness. Shake it out when you're done. What'd you say, Ian? My goodness. Those stops are so hard. We all know it's really hard to accelerate a load and then come to an abrupt stop. I think Newton knew that too. All right. Stays in motion. That might not have been Newton. That was thermodynamics. Anyway, back to our get-ups again. Don't quote me there. Whew. Ready? Thermodynamic laws. So I don't know who an opposing invented force. Those are the three laws, but I don't know who invented Newton. <laughs> Even okay, gravity. let's okay, focus let's on go. the get up. Get up. I know right now I'm defying gravity with my kettlebell. Defiance. Where's the grade 11 students when you need them? Other side. They would know. Fresh out of chemistry would know. Yeah, other side sounds good. Okay, ready? All right, we're ready, I guess. Here we go. Get up, number four. Ooh, that wood floor. Slip? Almost. Is that fun too? Up anyhow, she said. Up anyhow. Stop. 
clean. Oh my goodness. Let's give everyone like 10 more seconds to make sure we're all up here together. Mm -hmm. Same pattern as our stop swings. One full clean rack through and down. For, For those who aren't familiar with that real clean, that modified cheap mm -hmm. clean, standing over top of your bell, Zip. zipping up and down. Also appropriate. Slight path of the bell, up and down. Yes, in your phone booth. That's actually no probably what, what I'm going to do. Ready? Yep. Set five. Up two. One. Stop it though. Two. Punching through that bell, keeping your grip light, using your hips. Ooh. Good. For a modified exercise, that was hard. Yes, modified doesn't mean easy. Three, two. Catch that wall. Oops, sorry. Catch that bell like you're a brick wall. Wham. Thinking of that off arm. Woo. Excellent. Get up number. Five and six. Thank you. Five and six. I believe I see eight. So we have two more sets here. You are correct. Back to our get ups, full get up again. Hopefully with that same load you've been working with. Yours the same? Yeah. Me too. Three, yep. two, just that consistent effort, as Lauren said earlier. Finishing that side up. You know, I don't run with music. And we don't listen to music a lot when we work it. So maybe you have music on at home or you're just listening to yourself. I like that sometimes. I like it except when I have to listen to the sound of my own struggling breath. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Other side. The other sounds are okay. The feelings are all great though. and pattern along with those body weight exercises. Groove the get up. Very nice. Finishing up that five, six get up. We're gonna press. Now to warm up for future presses. Tell our shoulder. This isn't your pressing, well, maybe it's your pressing weight. Maybe it's a little lighter. Tell your body we're grooving this to press later. Yep. Oh, it's clean. And I'm going to press this about two or three times. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can, but I'll save that. Of course, just because you can then, doesn't mean you have. Sorry. We'll do that on both sides. All right? Good. Three, two, cheat clean. Pressing a couple times, patterning that butt squeeze and ab brace. So your heavier bell or your in your press, you can just pump. Ready? Yep. Second side. Whew. Excellent. All right, taking a little intermission before we clean and press to work on some single arm swings. One more get up. That's a lie, one more get up. Ian's right, number seven and eight. Let's get that going. So then we can swing, I was all excited. Now you know what's coming. You're welcome and I'm sorry. <sighs> Delaying this thing, beneficial or not. Get up number seven.
Number seven. Number eight. What are you on your cut up? What are you thinking about? I'm always thinking about my lunge, personally. Using my back leg to drive up. I'm nice thinking about it all or Good. nothing. Sounds like a song. Last get up, number eight. I actually can the count in my get ups. Like one is the elbow, two is the hand. I go yeah. all the way up and down. Strength by number, and the get up is definitely a way to get there. What are you swinging? I'm going to swing uh, the, other one? the green. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now, here it is our swings. Swinging on the 30 seconds, single arm if you'd like, two hands if you'd like. I'm going to go at the top of the minute. My right arm does five swings. Bell goes down. At the 30 seconds, my left arm does five swings. I repeat for five minutes, doing about 50 swings. We're going to go in five seconds. I hope you're ready. I'm doing the same thing with two hands, two handed Three, swings. Two, one. Five continuous swings. Don't go yet. Take a little break. Hmm. Enjoy your break. You deserve it. You swung that bell five hard times. If you can practice that nose breathing from the warm up, that's right. We should be think doing about that. that here. Lauren mentioned her running skills last week. Nasal breathing. Pretty hard to do, particularly with the Three, talk. Two, one. <sighs> That's what you had us do last week. I did. We had to breathe together. That was almost harder, I found. Yeah. Than so doing right now slings. your mouth should be closed. Not necessarily you. And you're breathing in and out your nose. Trying to slow your breath. Round two. Three, two, minute two. By the end, oh, she's reinforcing that nose breathing. Okay. I can't talk like Obama and breathe through my nose. The queen can do it too. Three, two. Slow it down. Coming up to minute three of five here. Feeling great. Mm -hmm. Feeling challenged, feeling strong. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Should we get off? Slow it down. Hmm. Ten more seconds. Loosen the grips. That's what I find. Halfway through this drill. Three, two, one. Hmm. Two more minutes left. Being loose as a goose with a mouth closed, though. I don't know. That's a tough combination. Five more seconds. Can do one or the other. Three, two, minute four. Which means there's like level more set. Left. Oh, two more steps. This is why I keep track. Swings engage that core. And if they don't, you might be feeling it in the back. That's Five. not appropriate. 
abs. We want to find a way to use Three, those abs. Two, four. Sorry, by four, I meant minute four. Last minute. Okay. Using that core brace like Lauren's plank at the beginning. Imperative to strength, safety of that swing. Five. Last set. High engagement, Three, safety. Two, one. One more left. One more set of five. Woohoo. Are you nose breathing? Breathing in through my nose, probably out through my mouth. Don't try to close that mouth. Five, four, two, last set of five. <laughs> try to slow your breath down. Breathing in and out of your belly. Last breath or so. Are your eyes open or closed? Mine, Mine are open. closed. Huh. You back? Thank goodness that's over for today. But again, that's why I do this, because I don't make myself sweat like that. And I know it makes me feel good. So I'm glad Lauren can do that for us here. We're going to clean and we're going to press. We're going to clean and we're going to press. So think of your bell. What I would like to see is something like this. Clean, step if you need to, press. Clean, press, clean, press. Let's try to do this, what I have written, which is, you, I know you can't see that. One on my right. One on my left, put it down. Come back to it, clean, press, clean, press, clean, press, clean, press, twos. Almost like a right of a threes. passage here. Threes, then maybe threes, twos, ones. I need this one. Okay. If here? those aren't, you can come up here. If those aren't your numbers, pick your own numbers. Maybe they're ones. Good, okay. I'm using, hmm. Kind of want to use that, but that might be wild. I'm going to try it. I know. This is too wild for that, so i got to right. come clean, back down to reality. One press. Three, two, one clean. Take a couple seconds. Just chill. I'm going to go a little slow on that press intentionally to make it a little more challenging. As I said, I'm between bells a little bit. Three, two. Playing with time. One clean. Very nice. The success of cleans and presses. Some people think it's easier. I think it's harder. I don't know I don't any know. of those people. I don't 10 know. seconds. We're going to try for two. Clean press, clean press. Awesome. I'm pushing it a bit with this guy. We'll see. Two. That one okay? Yeah. Yeah. You have that core tension. I could see the radiated fist out to the side. The glutes clench. Five it seconds. All aims to help the safety and strength of the press. Three, two, second side, two. That's nice. I know that that will not look the same when I go for three. Great decision. So I'm just going to come down to this one for threes. Great decision. Try it. Test it. Don't set a limit, but respect what's going on a little bit too. How are we feeling? Ready Great. To go. All right. Clean press, clean press, clean press. Say that three times fast. And de toi. Here we go. 
clean. Whew. Some heavy metal we got going on there. Can you hear it? Ah. Bang. Headbangers. Yeah. Threes again. This might be the peak. What do you think? Should we do threes twice? Yeah, I love going up and yeah. then coming back down so we can finish with integrity. I think we've done a lot of work. It. Three is going to be the most we do. Here we go. Yep. Second arm three. breathing, those tension techniques. We hope our mics aren't too loud or annoying in that regard, but use the power of that breath to brace, to time, to build it all up. So one, two, three. Two, one. Two, one. That sounds nice. To finish up here. Little upsy downsies. Clean press, clean press. Here we go. Whoa. You probably caught that. Oh, that was a heavy press. Whew. I heard kettlebells are getting to be in stock. So I might have to invest in one between. One to find that Goldilocks zone for the bell, or you can do it and do it, but feel challenged. All right. But for now, we're playing Twos. with time. Here we go. Two. Time under tension. Two. Two. It's really good. I like pressing. I like. Pressing, I think it's fun. It's fun to put strong feelings in the air and heavy things overhead. Belly one last time. Clean press. Ballistic on that clean. Last one. Groove that press. Whew. Last press today. Here we go. Last clean, last press. So particularly on that left side, I'm crushing it. Fisting of fury, gripping that bell for strength. Got to get it up. Fist and fury. Got to get it well, up Well, that was like lovely. That. Let's finish in our quick hunk bear. Stretch out our hips and then go home and eat hamburgers. Oh yeah. Huh. I hope my feet aren't too dirty. It's that gardening season, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta Fresh maybe cut lawn. hide our legs. You're pretty good. All right. So for Ian, we're in our hungry bear. Yeah, that. Lifting up tall, pushing those knees out. Just drive your knees apart for five. Three, two, Easy off, place those hands behind you. Lean back a little bit, but keep your shoulders packed. Internal rotation at that femur. Rotating in without shifting cheeks, opening up. Rotating in without shifting, open up. Let's do that one more time each side. Internal rotate. And again, you can see Lauren has quite a bit of that. I don't have quite as much and that's fine, but we're pivoting on those heels. Lauren's cue of keeping the weight on your bum cheeks. Super good, rather Super than good. twisting. Let's go. Now let that rule fly a little bit. And now let's shift a little bit and twist. Ian, you face them. Yep. Great. We'll square up over that front knee. 
Gently hinge forward, keeping your spine nice and extended. Pushing that front leg into the floor to sit yourself back up. Maybe do this one more time. So again, Lauren says, push this front leg of ours down. And then if we think about Ian's favorite hurdle drill lately, Ooh. we could think about our back leg here. Place your hands on the floor. Steady yourself up. Could we first try to lift up that back knee and rotate it? But don't rotate your hips for four. So the hip Three. is forward. Two, that goes down. Maybe we try to lift up and bend, or sorry, rotate. Internal rotation in that hip for three, two, that goes down. Let's do that one more time. Stay heavy on your hands, because then you can't rotate. Four, three, this is our knee lifting. Two, external rotation at the hip, down. Mm -hmm. Trying to lift ankle, femur rotates in for three, two, that comes down. Pry open your back leg, rotate through center. One last little routine and then we'll be done. Square up over that. Ooh. No prickle. Bruisey. Square up over the front. Gently hinge forward, chest leading over that knee. Leg pushes into the floor that you could almost push yourself back up. Try that again. Hinge, squared up, push self up. Great. Find those heavy hands again. Back to external rotation. So trying to lift that knee without rotating. Trying to lift for four, three, two. That comes down. Ankle tries to lift or internal rotation in the socket. Five. Yeah. Four. At the knee. That's a three, tough distinction. Two and not your ankle. Down. Last one. Lift off. Externally rotate. Three. Two, and down. Last internal rotation to finish up. Three, two, gentle down. Finishing opening up in your hungry bear. Ah, and ease out of that. Very great. Nice. Well, other than you being here, which I'm very thankful for, I just love that I see a couple thumbs up. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, so hitting the subscribe button really helps. If all the professionals on, all the big networks do it, I think we should too. So hit that subscribe, hit the like button. We do appreciate our time spent with you. So thank you for following along with us tonight at Lauren's awesome sweaty endeavor we call Strength and Swing. If it's Tuesday night, we'll be here on Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern. For the same class. Yep. Same different. Same but different. And balance out your training with some of our other programming, including tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is bar. 9 it's a, a new class. 9 a.m. is restore and recharge. That's right. I thought that was too early for this crew. Give oh, it a, a little extra hour interval between your workouts right. here. Right. Balance your training. But first and foremost, keep it simple. Keep it fun and strong. Let's build some skills. We'll see you soon. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. Great lips.